It was several weeks before Christmas in 2018 that Cannibal Corpse guitarist Patrick O'Brien would be involved in a pretty crazy arrest. O'Brien had been a member of the band since 1997, and in the run-up to his arrest, he would warn family members that the rapture was coming and that the aliens have landed on Earth. The arrest would happen on December 10th, 2018, a day after it was announced that Cannibal Corpse would be touring with Slayer. O'Brien at the time was renting a house in Tampa Bay, Florida. In the early hours of the evening, around 7 p.m., he would enter his neighbor's home without permission and come across its two occupants. One of the occupants asked the guitarist to vacate the property, which he refused to do. O'Brien would end up pushing a female occupant to the ground, warning them that the rapture was coming and that someone was after him. One of the occupants would tell police that the musician appeared to be hallucinating and O'Brien soon found himself hiding in the backyard of his neighbor's house until the police were called to the property. A responding officer ordered the musician to surrender, but he instead charged the policeman with a knife and was tasered. All this was happening while the guitarist's rented home was on fire. It wasn't immediately clear what the source of the fire was. O'Brien would be charged with burglary with assault or battery and aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer. Following the shocking news, Pat's Cannibal Corpse bandmates would release a statement where they updated fans saying, As a band and individuals, we all want nothing but the best for our brother and partner, Pat. While we can offer no further information about the incident, we wanted everyone to know that Pat is getting the help he needs and appreciates the love and support from Cannibal Corpse fans around the world. More shocking was what a police search of O'Brien's home was said to have found including 83 weapons, which included several AK-47s and military-grade flamethrowers within it, making the blaze difficult to extinguish. In fact, much of the ammunition in his house exploded during the house fire. According to reports, the amount of firearms was enough that ATF agents and a bomb squad were both called to the scene afterwards to sift through the wreckage. In addition to the weapons, three human skulls were also found on the property, the neighbors would describe the musician as an avid gun collector, but stated he didn't show any signs of erratic behavior before the fire. In the aftermath of his arrest, a crowdfunding campaign for O'Brien was launched by drummer Paul Mazurkowitz's wife, Deanna. Deanna would write online, Paul does not have insurance and lost everything that he owns. These funds will help him get back on his feet with the regular much needed necessities like clothing, a roof over his head, and other daily life necessities that are needed. In 2021, O'Brien would be replaced in the band. It was the same year he would be sentenced to five years probation and 150 hours of community service and ordered to pay a fine of nearly $24,000. Then just this past year, O'Brien, who has kept a low profile since his arrest, made his first public appearance performing with the band Exhorter at a gig in Baltimore, Maryland during the Memorial Day weekend. According to those close to him, he seems to be doing a lot better. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in Rock and Roll True Stories. Thank you.